Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Savannah. I'm the owner and maker of Tumbling with Savannah. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I made these super cute dog bowls. I made three of them for all three of my dogs. They were super easy to do. I got my dog bowls from the Stainless Steel Depot. I'll link them down below. But guys, I'm just obsessed with these. I think they are so cute. And I kind of wanted to put um, like dog bones or like hearts or something on these because they're kind of plain. I didn't know what to do for the boys' one. But um, this is what I came up with so far. I may add those later on. But I hope you guys enjoy this video. I hope you guys make them and you tag me and show me what you guys make with them. Um, I think that's about it. Don't forget to go join my Facebook group. It's Tumbling with Savannah, Tumblr Makers Community. Um, I would love to sh uh, have you guys share all your work and show me everything that you've been working on and stuff. Um, I think that's it. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I got these from the Stainless Steel Depot. They come in two sizes, 32 ounce and 64 ounce. I got the 32 and it was the perfect size for my dogs. And my dogs are medium to large, so if you have a smaller dog, this would definitely be totally fine. But anyway, we're gonna start the same way we would any other stainless steel tumbler, and, and we're gonna sand up our surface. I was using a 60 grit sanding block here and then I'm just going to get some alcohol and some paper towels and clean that off. And you're going to do that for as many bowls as you have. Um, in this video, I was just working on two of them. I'd already made the pink one, um, you know, just to get a feel for what I was doing before I made this video. And then I also wanted to tape off the bottom of this. Um, it has like a rubber piece right there in the center and I didn't want any epoxy or spray paint or anything to get on that. So I just taped that off and then went around with my X-Acto knife and cut off the excess so we could actually do what we needed to do on the stainless steel part. Okay, and you are going to need a special attachment. I got mine on Etsy. I will link it down below. Um, make sure that you get the right size for your PVC um, pipe. When I ordered my attachment, I had like half an inch PVC pipe for my old turners, and then my new turners didn't fit it. So I had to bring my old turner out um, just to make these dog bowls. But that was fine because I really, these dog bowls are really heavy and I didn't want the weight of that to um, cause extra wear and tear on my new tum turners. Um, but anyway, we're going to spray paint our thing, our dog bowl, and then um, I'm going to go in with the epoxy method. This is Jax from Peachy Olive Glitters. Um, it's a chunky cut and I'm just going in all over the surface of the tumbler and just glittering it up. After I got that, I shook off the excess and also tapped it off with some scissors just to get all the excess off of there. And then this glitter, oh my gosh, I cannot remember the name of it. It's a finer cut of Jack's, um, but I'm just going in with that just to fill in all of the bald spots that may be left because I didn't want to go in with a full chunky like Jack's was. So we're just filling it in with this finer cut glitter. I'm going to let this sit overnight because um, I was using regular um, regular epoxy, not a fast set. So I let it sit and dry overnight. Then I sealed it three different times with a clear gloss spray paint. And then we went into our first coats of epoxy. And this was the second bowl um, I did. Same process. Um, light epoxy layer as our adhesion and I went in with two cuts of glitter a chunky and a fine cut um, I'll link all the colors I used down below but now we're ready to do our first coat of epoxy and you do not need a lot of epoxy on these I thought it would take more than what it did but 
I guess because the bowl is like wide but the surface that you're covering isn't like a whole lot I think I used like 15 mls I'm not exactly sure but anyway super easy I just um ran that epoxy over there and you can see this is my old turner like I said I did not want um the dog weight of the dog pole to cause more wear and tear on my new turners but I did two coats back to back and then I'm coming in after both of those are completely cured and I'm scraping off the excess up top and doing our sanding this is the same as our rim sanding on any other on any other tumbler that you might do you're going to do the same thing on these we're just taking our 60 grit sanding block and going in and creating a fine line of stainless steel to establish a rim on our tumbler which is going to give us our seal when we do our final coats and you can see i was watching someone else's youtube video my favorite thing to do is watch youtube videos of other tumbler makers while i'm making my tumblers but on the bottom i did get some um epoxy like it started to run over on the bottom so i'm going to go ahead and clean that up as well sand that and wipe off any spray paint residue that might be on the bottom on this blue one i did forget to tape off the bottom like i did on my green so i had a little bit more work to do but after we got all of our sanding done we were ready to go into our decal work i just cut this out with regular 651 or cow vinyl and just applied it on there i just went in with my cricut and picked a random font that i thought maybe went with their personalities and then i got those on the dog bowl But after our decal work, we went in with our final coats of epoxy. I did two final coats on each of the bowls, and we were completely done after that besides our prep and not our prep work, our finishing work. Um, and all that included was getting the extra like epoxy that might have dripped down or any spray paint residue on the inside of the rim. Um, I just went in with some acetone and a viper towel and cleaned up that inside. And I also washed this super good, probably a couple of different times because I did not in want any chemical residue um, in there when my dogs went to go use them you also want to do this if you're using a tumbler obviously you want to make sure it's clean um, for your customers or yourself but this was the final result of all three of them i thought they turned out so cute but that is it thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you next week if you like this video you can check out our last one here and don't forget to follow us on facebook instagram pinterest tiktok we're all over the place and i'd love to see you over there thanks so much for watching